What up, everybody? It's your boy, Tony Superbad Harrison from Detroit. I mean, the press conference was intense. Uh, I'm with AC The Plug, man, the general. The plug for everything you need. Uh, I'm straight out of Detroit. We are, you already know how we get down. And I'm tuned in, baby, to my family at Hot 107.5. What's going on, man? Man, they can't get me in the ring fast enough, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to an uh, amazing fight. I hope we just sold some more tickets because there's something to see come Saturday night. Um, your contender, Willie Nelson. Do you feel like this is your toughest con uh, contender? He's just another guy standing in front of me. Um, if I wouldn't, if it wasn't about the money, it, it would have been, you know, the fight. You y'all would have saw a little preview tonight, but we know we ain't trying to mess up the dollar bills. Hey, I got the That's preview. That's what it's all about. HighHipHopDetroit.com. Uh, yeah, man, it's, it's man, it's it's, some, it's something to see, man. I just need everybody to tune in, man. I, I ain't for that. I ain't for no pillow talking. I'm straight out of Detroit. And, you know, when you get me there, it's kind of like I want to go there, but, you know what I mean? If, if this was six years ago, I would have hopped over the table. But, I, you know, I'm a little more mature. And I'm waiting for Saturday night, man. I'm waiting for Saturday night to come, and I'm ready to put on a show for everybody. It's a knockout? Knockout. All right. I, so, I won't settle for nothing less. Uh, Thurman and Colazzo, who do you have? I got a good fight, man. You know, Louis, Louis is my man. He, he trained at, in Detroit at Kronk a couple a couple years ago. I got the chance to spar with him. I got a chance to work with him. Willie, his trainer, is my guy. Uh, anytime it's a sparring camp, and you know they, they they call guys from Detroit to fly him in. So so Willie is my guy, man. But you know, Luke, Keith Thurman comes with a lot of youth, a lot of power, and I just think it's, it's experience versus youth. You know what I mean? And youth and power. And you know, I, I just hope it's going to be as as exciting as the co-main event. Now speaking of exciting, I've heard you say that you're going to be Mr. ESPN. Is this true, and why? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm Mr. ESPN. You know, I, my last three fights has been on ESPN. ESPN has called me back to back to back fights, and I'm, I'm looking. Looking forward to another ESPN on PBC, the biggest ESPN show thus far. ESPN, the biggest national broadcaster for sports in the world. And I'm just looking to make my, my debut to the world. I'm looking to, I've been on ESPN three times in a row, and I'm looking to keep going. Hopefully they, 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 they franchise tag me and, and just go in and give me the money, and I won't go nowhere else. I ain't mad at it. Tony Harrison is, is the next guy to watch, man. He, he, he comes with a lot of style, a lot of swag. He take no shit from nobody. And, you know, he, he's that kind of guy, man. It's real is what you see is what you get. Behind the cameras, but in front of the cameras, outside, in the bathroom, you know, the same thing would have happened, you know, with, with or without me me and him being in the matchup. You know what I mean? So what you see is what you get from Tony Harris and the realest, the realest boxer probably walking around the earth, man, right with now. With that being said, do you feel that your legacy will outlive Floyd's legacy? I mean, hopefully, man. He had a great career, man. You, you can't knock nothing that God does. You know, he, he had a very, very stellar career. He fought the likes of everybody. You know, if I'm lucky enough and blessed enough to stay as healthy as him um, and hopefully compete as long as him, then, you know, you, you never know. But my focus is July 11th, Willie Nelson, and, and setting my pace and setting my mark and my legacy starts there. Switching gears, I hear that you coach a football league in Detroit with your cousin uh, who plays for the Chargers. Um, if you could Gakes. tell the people a little bit about that. Oh, uh, yeah, Antonio Gates um, sponsored a football team that me and my cousin started. Um, and, and a couple of, uh, of other family members and you know last year um, we got the opportunity to actually come here in Florida this is where the Nationals is hosted and we, we ended up you know winning the whole thing and you know it's been three years since we've been since we didn't lost and you know I teach though the group of guys that I coach man I've been having the same group for three years and I teach them you know how to work hard man and if you just put it put your all in it you know what I mean you, you give it your best you know, your, your best is enough in anything you do. And, you know what I mean? I, I don't just tell them. You know, I show them day in and day out. You know what I mean? Every day I box. Every day I, I, I get a chance to fight. And they, and they walk out to the ring with me. They see it hands-on, how I work and, and how I prevail from my hard work. You know what I mean? So the kids love me. I love the kids. And, you know, it's, it's an amazing group of kids. And, you know, if, if I'm financially straight enough to, to stop boxing, man, I will, I will coach these kids for the rest of my life. Do you have any previous history playing football? I played football, man, all my life. I played for the West Seven Rams. Um, my whole, uh, my my whole youth career. Um, tried Is that out for a Mumford. Pal team? It's a pal team. Detroit pal. Uh, yeah. Um, played for Mumford for for a little minute before I got kicked out of there, and then ended up at Bishop Board just playing my, my senior year there. I had a great senior year at quarterback, and you know uh, we went all the way to the, to the championship. We ended up losing to a great team, and. Um, you know, that's that's he didn't neither here nor there. You know, if it was eleven to me, I don't think we would have lost. But, you know, I, I got back into the single sport 
where you know only I can make mistakes, only I can capitalize on my mistakes I made, and, and only I can correct them. So boxers are known for having the most attractive girlfriends, lady friends. Uh, Floyd always has a gang of women. Uh, Jay Leon Love now has Black China. Um, not to get too much in your business, but if you were to have a celebrity girlfriend, you have your eye on somebody. Who is it and why? Um, I don't need no celebrity girlfriend, man. I, I just need, I just need a, a humble girl, you know, um, a doctor, um, somebody that graduated from college, somebody that got their head on straight. You know, I don't, I don't need nobody that's, you know, it's already enough enough for me to come out every single day and say, you know, hey, Tony, hey, Tony, but, you know, for two of us, you know what I mean, it, it would be double the trouble, you know what I mean, I'm so low-key, I do this, I do boxing because I love it, you know, I, I don't need a celebrity that's a host, you know what I mean, I need somebody that got their head on straight, man, and that can take care of me when it's, when my career is over, you know what I mean, so, uh, maybe a doctor from Michigan. Um, career after boxing. Uh, I want to coach football, man. I want to coach football, maybe coach boxing, maybe mentor, start my own gym. Um, and I, you know, I just want to change the city, man. My, my, my view is for the city. You know, everything that I do is to improve the city. You know, the city of Detroit, which so badly needs it, you know. So anything I can do to help the city and generate from it or, or you know, generate positivity for it, that's what I want to do.